Hey guys, Xiaomi, and today I want to give you guys my thought about the current update in Summoner's War with the World Arena 2v2 and many other things in the 6.4 update notice. And it is pretty amazing. I will not go through the details because I think by now you have read everything already. I'll give you guys my general thought about it. So we have the Devilmon Party event. This is arguably one of the most generous events in the game. I think the best event personally is still the rune event where you can upgrade them to plus six, but that is the try hard approach, right? 10 Devilmon on the other hand is pretty amazing. And not only that, you are getting a bunch of other stuff together with the 10 Devilmon. So I think it is a pretty amazing event and you only have to just play the game to get all the free stuff. So this is really, really amazing. With the big update, they know that some new or returning player might be joining Summoners War. So they are doing some extra stuff for you guys as well. For the old player, this is kind of meaningless. But for the new player who are joining the game right now, hey. You could not live with your own failure. Is there any new player? A any new player? Any returning player? Let me know in the comment section down below, but they are preparing stuff for you guys as well. But then this is a big one. This is the big content update in this update. This one is more for the casual player who will log in, play minimally, do dailies and log out and summon once in a while. You don't really play for the RTA, for the competitiveness of the game. So this is perfect. If you play every day, you get to summon a NAT5, I think every six months, which is not bad, which is pretty good actually. And they also have this current event going on where they are giving you more pieces. So you are completing your first transcendent scroll much quicker, which is amazing. So how are they improving the daily mission? They are upgrading the rewards in some of the mission. For example, the head to head mission right here, you used to get 30 energy, but now you are getting 25 crystal, which is pretty good. Even though some mission has become a little bit harder, but the rewards increase as well. The six star hero rune here is kind of crazy. Nikon line. Like once in a while, you might get a good rune with speed stat or a rune with just efficient stat in general. And that is really good because usually most people best rune are actually six star hero rune. And you also might notice that the mission point combined together is actually more than a hundred. So they thought about it. They know that some of you guys are pretty casual. You don't want to do every single daily mission. So you only have to do enough to get the transcendent pieces, AKA me, I hate doing daily mission, but I got to do some daily mission now if I want to get my NAT5. So that is a pretty good point as well. When I look at the mission point value over here, everyone is going to get a fat bonus 45 mystical scroll after the update too, which I think some of you guys already got a nat 5 from this, but personally, I'm probably not going to get anything sad. But the big content update is actually the World Arena 2v2 team battle. I have done some matches myself and I got to say, it is actually more fun than I thought it would be. The amount of team and brainstorming I'm doing right now is crazy because there's so many other things you can do and it is much more complicated than normal RTA with so many team variation, but I think for the hardcore player, this can be really, really interesting in the future. I think there might be more bugs coming soon or just unbalanced thing coming soon, but I think we are going somewhere that I really enjoy seeing. And I think more communication mode during the gameplay itself, more different emotes to help you communicate with your team can be very helpful. But overall, I think this is actually much more interesting than what I thought it would be. And if you enjoy this, hey, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to team up with my friends from other server. That would be insane. But for now, I can't do that. But hey, I told YDCB that I got to get him on a video for a quick 2v2 RTA match. And the man said yes. So I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And lastly, we are actually getting a Fighter 3 RTA reward upgrade. So this sparked a lot of conversation. When I was streaming and people came to my stream and asked me, Hey, Sean, um, Fighter 3 is getting some freebies in RTA. What do you think about it? And I was like, what is there to think about? 
you know, a lot of people are getting some free transmog. Isn't that pretty amazing? But a guy who came to my stream said that it has sparked great discussion in his guild about this free aura for the fighter three rank. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why is there a need for discussion when people are getting free stuff? And then I took to Reddit and oh boy, people are going crazy on Reddit because Fighter 3 don't deserve this aura. I'm like, bro, are you serious right now? I'm going to say this and it's going to piss a lot of people off. But who give a fuck about this aura? Like, since when do we care so much about this? It's actually crazy. But I read more and I understand that, okay, this is like um badge of honor. It's a sign that you have worked your way hard enough to get out Fighter 3 to join Conqueror to prove yourself kind of deal. Okay? Understandable. And now the people in Fighter 3 who they deem to be not good at the game enough, they are getting this badge as well. And this has devalued the perceived value of the badge in the eyes of C1 player. Because if you're getting C2, it doesn't matter anymore because you already got the aura in C1. So the most angry people, in my opinion, is right now the C1 people. Because the same argument can be said about C3. Why do you even bother to get C3? You are just getting more of the same thing. But I think people try to improve in RTA not only because of the aura. There are people who play to improve to get the next best rank because they want to improve, okay? People who are trying to defend the C1 honor like, relax, bro. Not everyone care about the aura, okay? And I'm really glad to see Comptors improving the reward in Fighter 3. Honestly, I think for a lot of people, this aura doesn't mean shit anyway. Like, they're not going to start doing RTA religiously for the aura, but it's a nice bonus thing to have. Like, when you get this kind of aura, you're going to forget about it in like a week, right? Even for Guardian skin, it looks cool for the first two days. And then after you apply in like a week, you get so used to your unit that you just don't really give a shit anymore. But freebies are freebies and it might encourage more RTA participation. And if it helps with the population of RTA, it expands the percentage of C1, C2, and C3 in general. And I think it's just a great thing. A lot of people have been trying to ask for more rewards in the lower rank because why do they have to bother fighting in Fighter 3 against G1 Farmer, Chinese Autobots, and amongst every other C1 reject and all that good stuff down in Fighter 3. Why do they have to do that? Why do they even need to do that for nothing? So at least there's something right now for them to enjoy. And I think it is a good start for more rewards in Fighter 3. I think the people who are arguing about this aura are the same people who argue about like, fuck come to us. Why do they make this HOH? Why did my only LD Lightning become HOH unit? I don't feel special anymore. Like, bro, calm the fuck down, man. Like, relax. It's an aura for fuck's sake. Who give a shit? I'm like, bro, come on, man. Really? Hi. <sighs> so I just, I just don't understand. When I saw this, I was happy that Fighter 3 people are getting something. Getting to Fighter 3 is not that difficult because the point gain for winning in Fighter 2 is huge. You win a couple of games, you get to Fighter 3 very, very quickly. So you can enjoy your first taste of aura. And that might motivate or demotivate you, I don't know, to play more in RTA. But I would love to see just a normal, healthy RTA population in general. Also, our team is currently preparing more quality of life improvement regarding the great system and matchmaking system for the World Arena Season 19. So all these discussion about adding extra ranking below C1 and above Fighter 3 or maybe making C1 more achievable or making Fighter 3 less of a toxic wasteland might be happening in 6.4.1 because they said it. Hey, I don't know, maybe. But hey, they're actually planning to do some changes to RTA Season 19, and that is a good thing to see. The improvement will be implemented at the start of World Arena Season 19, and details will be shared through the next version update. Hopefully, it's going to be good. At least they're doing something, or tell us that they are doing something. So overall, I think this is a very positive update to the game. We have something for the casual player. We have something for the tryhard player. We have a lot of freebies throwing around. 
and I think that is just pretty amazing. After this, I'll be doing some 2v2 RTA. I'll be summoning on my birthday on the 20th of September. So many things coming right up. Hopefully, it's going to be fun. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.